A human being is not a thing. A human being, especially if you're talking about the neshama, the neshama is not a thing. It's a who. It's not a what. When you take all the what away, you're left just with who. You're left with a person. A person is not a thing. What separates two people from each other are things, not themselves. The who of, of you and the who of your husband are not separate. But if something is introduced between you, that separates you. So going from things to nothing means going from things and what to a who. Let's put it in different words. When you get married, when you're, when you're deciding on who to marry, what do you look for? What are you judging? What are you seeing? You're seeing many things about that person. Physical things, emotional things, values, abilities, talents, a lot of things. And when all the things fall into place and you like all those things you decide to marry him now you're married and you realize that he doesn't have most of those things he's not all those things that you thought he was and he discovers <laughs> that you're not all those things he thought you were. <coughs> this sounds like a problem. And it can be a problem if you're hung up on things. Marriage means once you marry him, all those things become commentary, secondary, unimportant. Now it's just about him. He is your husband. You didn't marry a bunch of things. Painful examples. It happened quite frequently in Russia. You get married, and a week later, two weeks later, your husband is arrested and sent to Siberia. For years, 10 years, 20 years. Are you married? All the things that you thought you would have from your husband, you're not going to have. In fact, you're getting nothing. But are you married? You're married. Is he your husband? He is your husband. So what do you have? You have him. He's far away, but you have him. A more painful example, a couple are married for many years, and then, God forbid, the husband becomes paralyzed, completely incapacitated. All the things are gone. And if he can't speak, then literally all things are gone. What are you left with? You could say, oh, what am I left? I'm left with nothing. And I don't need this. This. Or you can say, what am I left with? I'm left with him. Him. So if after years of being paralyzed, God forbid, he then passes away, 
Have you lost anything? No, because you weren't getting anything from him. But have you lost him? Yes, you've lost him. And that's awful. So even though you weren't getting anything from him, but you had him, and to lose him is awful. We have, sadly, we have basically forgotten what that means. What's him without all the things? If you take all the things away, what is him? What's left? Say, so, well, what's left is him. So yeah, well, what does that even mean? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> We've completely forgotten what a human being is. We know things. We know lots of things. And this is a result, you know, of, of technology, of, uh, of the modern world. Like this guy, this comedian says, the other day I called my friend and he answered. I didn't know what to say. <laughs> I said, can you hang up? I'll leave you a message. <laughs> We're not used to talking to a someone. We're used to talking to a something. And if you'll notice, this is what creates problems in a marriage. A woman says, I'm having trouble with my husband. No, you're not. You're having trouble with your husband. <laughs> not having a husband is trouble. You can't have trouble having a husband. The trouble is something, not him. Now, these things can get very personal. For example, love is a thing. <laughs> the best proof is you can have a husband who doesn't love you. It's possible, no? You have a husband. He is definitely, absolutely your husband. He doesn't love you. So, obviously, love is something that he either has or doesn't have. So there's the he, and then there's the love. And a better proof is, the same husband can love you one day and not love you the next day. And then love you again the third day. Obviously, love is a thing. You have it, you lose it, you find it, you build it, you increase it, you decrease it. It's a thing. And because it's a thing, it can get in the way between you and your husband. So when Tevye asks his wife Golda, do you love me? She said, excuse me, where is this going? He thought, if we talk about love, our relationship will get better. She said, uh-oh. I don't like where this is going. Do you realize that that's what the conversation was between them? He hears from his daughters that they're in love with some guy and they have to marry this guy because they're in love with this guy. And he thinks, wait a minute, love? I, I never... What is this? So he goes to Gold and he says, do you love me? And Golda says, in, in effect, Golda says, oh, don't, 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 don't become a teenager. She says, if you remember, you remember the, the answer? The song. The key is, for 25 years I've How is that an answer to his question? He knows that she cooked for him. He's not asking about supper. <laughs> he, 
He's asking, do you love me? What's her answer? Do I love you? Do, first, first she says, do I what? So everybody laughs thinking that people back then were so primitive they didn't really know what love is. And that the daughters discovered reality and fell in love. That's not what the story is saying. It's not a comedy. He says, do you love me? She says, love is a thing. You're asking me if I can give you this thing called love. Don't be a baby. I'm giving you me. For 25 years, you have me. And then she says, if that's not love, then what is? In other words, if love becomes a thing, then it's bad news. But if you have me, all of me, which includes my love, that's good. Because if that's not love, then what is? So love can be a thing, or love can be the result of the, of the oneness of him. What if she stops cooking for him? Then all the love in the world isn't going to make up for it. 